Striking your enemies does Hi guys, good. it's Sanelius and you welcome back to this let's play of Civilization number 6, the world changes, Horizon 4. Alright, we're currently playing of course as the Kree, that's where we left off in the last episode. Uh, this unit here, I can still issue some further movement orders. We basically of course discovered Carthage here. Um, let's go and actually see what else we can find. Ooh, we find our first neighbors. Chandragupta. Maryam, Emperor of Unified India. Okay, it's an honor to meet you. <clears throat> All right, good idea. Exchanging information about the capitals because at least then we would be able to see if we can set up a trade route. I suspect that that location is a bit too far. So I'm going to kind of leave it as is for the moment. So we've got some tech boosts, which is great. Carthage, <clears throat> Chandragupta, political philosophy. Now, if you look down here, we should, of course, see that in terms of the Dark Age. We're out of the Dark Age option now. We're basically into the Normal Age. So at the moment of basically triggering this, there is a Normal Age during this uh, game era. Each of your citizens exert their normal amount of 1 plus 1 loyalty in their city. This pressure also affects other cities within 9 tiles, but is 10% less effective per tile. Okay. So yeah, we basically met uh, <clears throat> the Indians, which of course basically brought us to the 12 out of 12 stage. Still basically developing that road here further. Ah, our delegation brings many gifts. Drink all the spiced buttermilk you desire. We can always send more. <clears throat> um, all right, time to be welcome. <clears throat> All right, let's get over here. Uh, that's a bit of uh, um, a marsh, swamp. Here, we can of course take our worker, and what can we do with him? Hmm, All right, what, what does that do? I think I'm actually gonna focus on that farming there first. Get at least the food, uh, the food boosts out of that which will help my city grow, <clears throat> which also makes it easier for me to expand later on. I'm quite inclined to basically build another city relatively close to the coast there. Let's first explore up this way a little bit further. Like I said, we're going to basically build more farms here. Build our food to output up even ever further. Mm -hmm. An Indian scout. What do we find here? Let's go a little bit further and then we run into Gorgo, Queen of Sparta, and leader of the Greeks. Who are you? Okay. It's an honor to meet you. I'd love to sample your hospitality. Yeah, great. Ah, Sparta. Not too far off. Great location. And I think that would be in range of a trade route as well. <clears throat> belongs to Greece, has full loyalty, which is good. Alright, I can, if I want to build here, a make em up That put out extra production. Put that over there, I think. That would be a good to position for it. Alright. <clears throat> right, let's go on to the next turn. That is most welcome. Perfect. <clears throat> now let's see if I can send some delegates their way as well. Uh, send delegation. Yeah. Perfect. Let's do the same with this young lady here. Send delegation. Oh, you're not interested in it, but you do send one my way. <clears throat> okay. Well, so be it. So, be it. so we got one potential friend here. <clears throat> uh, it doesn't say anything about how they are feeling about us at the moment, but yeah, can can be. Um, so that's plus one food, but this is plus one food plus one production. So go for it. Uh, 
All right. This Mekawap presents our civilization's spirit and defines the landscape of our empire. All right. For the first time, we built one. Perfect. Let's go out exploring once again here. <clears throat> Particularly in this region here, because, yeah, if we want to basically uh, see what else we got around us, that would be quite useful to see. It's a good one to get, because at least we can basically ex expose this uh, yeah, section of the map here. 17 out of 24. <clears throat> it's good. All right, I'm going to do that with this one. I'm going to make it fortified, so that's fortifying in the city. Gives me defensive boost, which always will be welcome. I am fond of pigs. Dogs look up to us. Cats look down on us. Uh, okay. Pigs. That's my own delegation Treat. that we're telling me about. Okay, so be it. Irrigation. <clears throat> now, which one is good if I want to basically do more in terms of trade? Uh, let's open up this here for a second. All right, I want to get the currency, of course, ultimately. Make a trade route. Market commercial hub. That's one of the key ones I want to go for. And I'm still operating in the classic era, so what do I want to do here at this point? I've met another civilization already. <clears throat> um, yeah, um, yeah, I'm quite inclined to go for the writing here. <clears throat> All right, let's have a look at what else we can do now. Good, let's explore this even further. Bit of, bit of coastline here. And that would be a nice location, I would say, to basically build another city. Let's see, one, two, three. That's the edge of the uh, city there. <clears throat> one, two, three. Yeah, that's the mountain. Perfect. This one here. Let's explore this section here a little bit further. And then basically take away that uh, yeah, fog of war over here. Or fog of... How do you want to call it? Is it Fog of War? Probably. <clears throat> On to the next stage. Alright. Can go further there as well. Ooh, what do we find? Olives. Nice. So that's actually the coastline we're seeing here. So that's good, I guess. Well, maybe there we can put a city. Yeah, it's on the coast. That'd be nice. That would be a good location, I think. All right, one more movement through the hills there, and that should do it, I guess. At least we know where Sparta is, which is great. Um, Settler will be finished really, really quickly from now. So Without where do I want to move them to? Change Inside. policies. Ah. Production boost towards builders, production in all cities, faith, and so forth. I'm going to leave it as is, I think. My government is the same, so yeah. As our civic Perfect. knowledge grows, so do our methods of government. Governors will improve the loyalty of Furthering their cities. This endeavor will allow us okay. What am I going to produce next? Now, I have just built a settler. I can go for a granary here, for example. It will give me extra housing, and I've got lots of housing already. But this is great because it actually increases my loyalty <coughs> as well. Right, so what can we do with this settler here? Now, one, two, three, so that's the maximum. I can actually go and settle over here on top of the horses, but I think that takes away the horses. So I'm going to be losing out on some of the benefits of that, really. Hmm. Um, now, given that that is the extreme, so that one would potentially still fall in there. I could decide to actually go for a city on the coast here. That should still give me access to those horses there as well. So let's go for one, two, three. So that over here would be a good location, I think. Unless I want to go up there. Which will be more beneficial. <clears throat> Place one of them over here. One, two, three. That gives me a chance to basically build another city maybe here on the other edge of the coast. Yeah, let's do that. <clears throat> Should be nice and beneficial. Okay. 
perfect. That should remove the final bit of... I thought it would remove the final bit, but no, it doesn't. Pity. Bit of a pity, but uh, okay. End of your turn. What does this represent here? I'm not quite sure. Let's new that, uh, that yellow bit. Maybe that's the progress towards the next era that it represents. <clears throat> Okay, so let's expose that section over there, and let's then head back in this direction here. And from there, I probably want to go through further east. Ah, a barbarian slinger. <clears throat> Good. Now, let's see, can we actually attack that slinger shortly? I should be able to. I suspect he will be attacking me. Yes, he does. At least I see a bit more behind him here as well. It's a major victory. <clears throat> He's not really that good in uh, up close melee defense, so that's good to my advantage. Mm -hmm. Ouch. He does hit me again, but uh, I should be able, in theory, to be able to take him out. At least I see where their encampment is. Let's uh, see if we can take them out. Yes, I'm able to take them out. Good. Ooh. Now, does that give me any boosts here at all? Let's have a look at that timeline. No, I don't think it does. Oh well, so be it. Now, let's move this guy back, I guess, into the forest there to heal up. Let's do that in the next turn. <coughs> Ah, best neighbors are distant ones, right? Now you're in your best neighbor. Okay, good. 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 Uh. Alright, let's skip a turn here. Well, let's fortify him for the moment. <clears throat> Move that one back into the forest and then I set him to fortify and heal so the forest will actually give me defensive bonuses so that that would be great now our settler is moving along nicely <clears throat> Auckland warriors there is that the location I was looking for I think it is but it's good T will straight away be in range and yeah we're basically building that city over here May I make a suggestion? Settle a new city has expanded our civilization within an empire larger than one city. It's important to keep an eye on loyalty of your citizens. If loyalty decreases, the city is not as effective. If loyalty drops to zero, the city will declare its independence and become a free city. Alright. <clears throat> loyalty is mainly affected by the number and nationality of citizens in and near the city. Having lots of your own population within nine tiles will improve your loyalty each turn. Population belonging to other will basically decrease it. Assign a governor. Let's have a look at what that actually does. This one's still rising, it says. So it, it's being influenced from that other city there, as you can see. <clears throat> it's rising in terms of the loyalty. Um, okay. Let's have a look at this city. Is this being influenced at all? That I don't see any loyalty effects here. Here, or little arrows. Hmm, it's only a one way in this instance. It looks to be coming from my capital going towards that city, which is good. <clears throat> Choosing production here. Um, let's go for the monument. Helps me boost the loyalty even further. <clears throat> Full loyalty, city of Cree. Perfect. Ah, the Japanese. Humble dis dis disciple of Bushido. <clears throat> the warrior code. All right, they are located over here. Writing is easy. Good. All you have to do is cross out Library the wrong campus. words. Library campus. Good. We have recently gained advanced knowledge in city planning. Perfect. Let's choose a new item here. Ooh, Stonehenge. That'd be nice. Do I want to go for that or do I want to go for irrigation first? <clears throat> Let's check. Irrigation. 
and sailing. Maybe I need to do sailing. Found a city on the coast. Yeah, I've done that. <clears throat> I should be able to set these up in a particular order as well. that order as is. <clears throat> I'm able to build a campus here now. That gets a boost from of course all the relevant bits. Uh, let's not do that one. Let's go for the granary first. <clears throat> How do I basically change that again? I want to basically see the map options. Should we yield icons? No. <clears throat> Right, let's go to the next turn. Jutos tres as a sihoste to Jaima Peo Gale. Are you such a coward to avoid bloodshed to, to yield so easily? Where is your honor? Um, what are you talking about? What are we talking about? We've sent you delegation with gifts of. Ooh, okay. Perfect. talking about that confrontation there okay, because I haven't taken out those barbarians they're basically complaining how lovely ah the Japanese have built Stonehenge I've got a new quest here build a holy site there is not a quest here for a trade route um, can I buy something here maybe with this already? I can. I can buy a granary if I want to. I can buy a builder. I think the builder would be more interesting to buy. Alright, let's do that. Let's go on to the next turn again. Here, I can basically build one of those of our own buildings, but I'm actually going to go here to look at whether I can do something with the animal husbandry. It says it's going to be four turns. Let's have a look. Two food, one production, one food. Now I should theoretically be able to see all the boosts. I don't see them at the moment. Not pins, no. Show yield icons. Don't want to see the yield. Okay. Um, yeah, maybe I get more food production up, up up there on the on the rice paddy as well. Let's see about that. The Greek scouts. Ah, they're complaining also because their scout can't move through our terrain. That kind of makes sense, I guess. Let's talk to these guys, send them a delegation. Thank you. Maybe I should take these warriors and move them towards that encampment. I don't underrate the value of military knowledge. Your Grace, I worry about the happiness, I worry about the of, happiness of our citizens. I would advise you to invest in means of increasing our content. Okay. <clears throat> Insufficient amenities. Okay, does that have any impact upon the loyalty? It does. So it's dropping. Well, yeah, okay, it's dropping because of that, but we're still, because of our citizens, got a major influence here. Which is okay. Good, I guess. Choose civic, foreign trade. <clears throat> All right, trader can be built. Yeah, good. Plus two goals from all trade routes. That's good. Allows the creation of trade routes. Well, I've already got trade routes, but thanks, thanks for the offer.
All right, I just wanted to double check whether that maybe started a new era. It doesn't, luckily. So that's to our advantage here. Ah, that's the thing that happened. They basically just spawned an extra warrior. <clears throat> We're gonna keep them uh, fortified there for the moment. This guy is gonna move there. <clears throat> Hopefully be a distraction to those warriors there. Okay. Let's build the pasture here, yeah. <clears throat> So look what happens here in the next turn. Then after this, we're going to basically call it a day. A good 20 minutes of gameplay is a good milestone to go with. <clears throat> good. I guess our distractions worked here. May venture more, but uh, our unit has killed the spearmen. Spearmen. It isn't good. just our lands that can be improved, but our waters as well. I suggest we search for opportunities to exploit the resources along the shores. Perfect. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to save away the game. Just like I said, we're basically going to call this episode, of course, number two. And yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed it, and uh, I will see you in the next one. In the meantime, take care. Bye-bye.